a very special guest, someone who has embraced me since I started my Twitter journey. He's a man by many names, uh, old man who eats pizza, old man who trades, old man who makes awesome merch. And I think the way you know him is old man who bets. How's it going? Megan, great to be here, the queen of gambling Twitter. Uh, an honor just to say what's up. What's your favorite sport to bet? Favorite sports to cap, I think, is the ones that have the most data. But I love high volume sports, whether that's baseball or college basketball, um, for two reasons. One, more data points, more trends that are actionable. You know, you think about the NFL versus MLB. Uh, what is it? 10 games is, of MLB games is the equivalent to essentially one NFL game. Um, so it's a lot of those things where you can kind of find those trends and really exploit them. And at the same time, if I go 0-3 today, I'll have another 10-game board tomorrow that I can immediately redeem myself. Where with the NFL, I reverse sweep, uh, swept last week. I had to wait a whole, whole seven days to try to redeem myself. So love those, those high-volume sports. I'm super, super excited uh, that college basketball is, is coming back here. Um, I feel like literally all of my beats were bad beats this week. Did you have any bad beats this week? Yeah, you know, the witching hour, as Scott Hansen says, has been particularly unkind to me the last couple of weeks. I was three and one coming into the fourth quarter uh, of the one o'clock games, naturally ended one and three. And, you know, it wasn't a traditional bad beat per se, but the Vikings game was just brutal for me. Uh, first time in NFL history that a defensive player has scored on back to back plays coming out of the half. And I'm starting to feel good, starting to feel a little momentum with this Vikings team. They then get within three. They're about to get the ball back with two minutes. It's, we can score and cover and win this game. What do you do? You muff the punt for a layup field goal for Carolina. And then the Vikings still come down in that 90 seconds and score uh, to win the game. So they win the game. I lose my bet. There was just a comedy of errors to get there, uh, and it didn't feel good. On to NFL lines this week. I have looked over these lines, and nothing has caught my eye. Has there been anything that has caught your eye early this week? Indianapolis versus Houston, three to minus two and a half. You know, you look right Right on last week, of course, the Colts got blown out and then the Texans did the blowing out. So I think that's an immediate public overreaction. If you look at points differential for these two teams, the Colts are plus 49, Houston is minus 29. That's obviously a huge discrepancy. And, you know, one that the line going under a, a field goal, I think is, uh, is, is pretty telling. Uh, you know, you look at yards per play, points per play for these two teams, they are similar on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball. But uh, was looking at the DVOA efficiency rankings from Football Outsiders earlier this morning. Uh, and the huge difference we see comes on defense. With Indianapolis, we're seeing their DVOA rank at number five, Houston 29. So you combo that with the strength of schedule rankings just to make things a little bit muddier uh, because the Colts have a relatively easy schedule outside of their division. Houston has had a more challenging one. Nonetheless, I think that defensive delta is going to be too much for a Houston team that the public is finally feeling good about. Uh, once the public starts feeling good, usually a good time to bet against them. Last but not least, I want to um, address the furry elephant in the room, if you will, that beautiful mustache on your face. Can you please tell these people why you have it on your face? Yeah, surprisingly, this mustache here is not an always on proposition. Uh, the third eyebrow, I've been referring to it, but it is actually for a great cause. We're, we're raising money and awareness around men health for an organization called Movember. Uh, the Movember kind of claim to fame is the mustache. It's used to, to kick off conversations. People I haven't seen in a while, they say, hey, Jeff, interesting mustache. And I say, thanks for bringing it up. It's actually for charity. Let's just hit the Twitter profile and I'll have all the links that you could possibly need. Uh, every donation counts, whether it's a dollar, five dollars, 20 bucks, you know, everything is, is very, very appreciative. Thank you so much for coming on and talking a little sports and a little bit of good charity with me today. Thanks, Meg. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon.